History of the Eiffel Tower The Eiffel Tower was erected in 1889. It is now the symbol of the city of Paris and its history is very interesting. Its design was innovative and different from the architecture of the time, which is why it wasn't even supposed to remain. It was a temporary construction that was to stay only 20 years. But its revolutionary architectural style changed its fate. Now, approximately 7 million visitors climb the Eiffel Tower every year. When was the Eiffel Tower built? The construction time of the Eiffel Tower is actually quite impressive. The first digging work started on the January 28, 1887. On March 31, 1889, the tower had been finished in record time. It only took a total of two years, two months and five days to construct. Who built the Eiffel Tower? The Eiffel Tower was named after Gustave Eiffel, whose company was in charge of the project. Gustave Eiffel was not, however, the primary designer of the famous iron Eiffel had the help of engineers that worked for him in the Compagnie des Etablissements Eiffel, Maurice Coeclin, Emile Nouguier, and architect Stephen Sauvester. In recognition of the engineers, scientists and mathematicians who contributed to the construction of the tower, the names of these persons were engraved on the side of tower. 72 names, to be exact. Why was the Eiffel Tower built? The Eiffel Tower was built in 1889 to celebrate the French Revolution's centennial year during the Exposition Universelle at the Champs de Mars. The purpose was to show the other nations the power and the industrial abilities of France. The Tachin. The Eiffel Tower was entrance to the Exposition Universelle. The iron structure marked the beginning of a new form of architecture. They proposed the project of a 300 meters tall tower, then, Gustav Eiffel asked Stephen Sovester to redesign and refine the tower. Sovester added a few arcs and decorations, he beautified the project. The steel industry was burgeoning and strongly influenced the choice of materials. Iron was produced in large quantities and its price was affordable, which allowed the construction of imposing structures, such as the Eiffel Tower. Was the Eiffel Tower meant to be destroyed? The Eiffel Tower was to be a temporary structure, its sole purpose was for the Exposition Universelle. After the exhibition, it was to stay for 20 years and then be destroyed. In 1897, the first broadcasts of radio began, so, the Eiffel Tower became a strategic point for the city and it gained a strategic and military purpose. This is what convinced the city of Paris to keep the Eiffel Tower. During the World War I, the tower captured important telegrams, precious information was deciphered, and spies were exposed. Today, the tower contains 120 antennas, 32 radio stations and 40 TV channels broadcast from the top of the monument. Thank you.